Hey, it's Troy, and if you saw my last video, you know that I dealt with some frustrations over a couple of vintage fountain pens, some old uh, lever filler pens that I purchased on eBay that supposedly were restored, and eh, not really. <laughs> so I uh, wanted to share with you, during that period of, uh, of buying, I bought several other pens, all within that same uh, several day span, and one of them came in today and I've already done a lot of work on it. When I purchase a pen and someone tells me that it's fully restored, I expect it to be in good working order and not require a lot of effort on my part. And I don't expect the nibs to have been worked on and ground to the point uh, where they're unusable. Well, I purchased a uh, another vintage fountain pen, an American pen, a wherever fountain pen. Now, this is not my first wherever pen, and I was wary of buying the wherever. But the price was right. I mean, the auction, I got it for five bucks plus three dollars shipping out of North Dakota. Okay, you know, for five bucks, I'll give it a shot. So, all right, won the auction, and I got it today. Now, I previously had another wherever pen that I didn't get on eBay. For $10 plus shipping, I got this particular wherever pen, obviously a lever filler, and I got it from a vendor out of Raleigh, North Carolina, which is not far from where I'm sitting. Uh, I lived in Raleigh, so I figured, uh, you know, hey, let's give it a shot. Well, you know, this has been a very unimpressive pen to me. It didn't write really well. The cap doesn't screw down all the way. Um, I'm assuming that that little bent nib or the, is supposed to be that way by design. Um, all in all, I just, you know, wasn't real thrilled with this one when I got it. I just chalked it up to, all right, maybe I got a bad one out of the lot. I don't know. But I didn't want to toss the wherever brand altogether. Uh, let's give it a shot. Well, I expected a pen that, although the seller said it was in good condition. I fully expected a, a pen that really needed some restoration work, and I was right. When I got this thing, um, you know, it there was a lot of oxidation on it. It was it was just a little scuffed up, and I figured, all right, I'll give it some TLC, a little bit of care, and bring it back to life. So I spent some time pulling it apart. I got the sack, the old sack out of it. I put a brand new sack into it, which actually went fairly well this time. Um, and I got out some polish. Matter of fact, I'm going to reach over here and grab it. You know, I purchased I, some polish from Anderson Pens. They're, they got a little pack like this. And I know other people who have used it. But uh, some polish number one and number five in a pack. And it, you know, for 11 bucks. I've tried other stuff. Um, I've tried stuff that does headlights, uh, head, uh, you know, headlight lenses uh, on cars, because it's essentially a lot of the same stuff. And I've tried a few other things. So um, I figured I'd give this a shot since that's what it's being sold for. And I've heard several people talk about how they liked it. So I stripped the pen down. I threw the uh, the nib in section as well as the cap into my ultrasonic cleaner and got a lot of the old uh, blue and some greenish looking ink uh, right into um, a, a bath of uh, some uh, pen flush. And it's my own homemade brew since I learned how to do it. I stopped buying pen flush. So I just put it in a bath of my own, uh, ran it through a couple of times, great, no more ink coming out, get it, dry it off, put the new sack on it, um, and then proceed polishing. And let me show you the before pictures, which are right off from the internet, off from the eBay listing. And I, you know, I probably could have taken some before pictures, didn't really think to do it before I started working on the pen, sorry. Um, but um, the, the pictures online were actually of a lighter color than this. This turned out to be you know, a little brighter, uh, or actually, you know, a, a little more royal, I guess, in, in the color. Um, it polished up okay. I got a lot of uh, oxidation off from the clip. You know, the clip comes off, and I just used a jeweler's cloth to do that, as well as the trim here, as well as here. All that worked fairly well. The wherever pen, if you can find them, you know, some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, some people are ambivalent. 
I don't mind them. This pen actually, and I'm assuming it's from like the 1950s, maybe 60s, um, from the, the wherever that I got already, that green one I showed you, from my understanding was from, from the 50s. Uh, but this one here, I was pleasantly surprised when I got it together and filled it with ink. I filled it too, just to let you know, uh, with this. Birmingham pens, I've been buying some of their inks. I know they just had a big ink sale. I didn't partake of that only because I got a bunch of bottles on the shelf behind me but this one here is a Pennsylvania Railroad Boiler Steam Blue Black. I haven't used this one in any of my pens I've actually inked up I think one of my wife's pens with it and this little pen here, here I'll show you the, the nib all it says is stainless on it in USA so I know it, it was made in America and I don't know if stainless was the brand or stainless meaning it's stainless steel um, either way it's a, it's not a it's not a gold nib I do not believe but when I tried writing with it, it was actually pretty smooth. Took my first few scribbles when I went, ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. But I can make it better. So I got out my, uh, my little nib smoothing kit because on an upstroke, you could feel just a hair. Check the tine alignment. It was good. Um, and just a 20 seconds of nib smoothing, and it's beautiful. So... Had a bad experience on eBay. Had one that I expected was going to need some work just because it just said, in good condition. Now, when I say that, I'm expecting total crap job that I got to fix. And, like I said, I was not disappointed when that showed up. So, pretty happy with it. Uh, let me show you, too. Um, my handwriting today is terrible for some reason. Right down here. And it was very, very smooth. When I went to go write on this paper, I was like, no, that's good. That was nice. And I, I usually use just a regular old legal pad to do most of my writing because this is where I sit to work for a living, and I use notepads uh, on a daily basis. So I always have one of those at my desk. But this book where I've been putting all my ink samples uh, and writing samples, nothing special that I do in this book other than to just write the pen and the ink and the date so that if someone wants a color I hand them this book pick a color uh, and I can look myself and see what my purples look like my blues look like now I, the last video that I did um, I had a problem with one pen altogether getting it to write the other pen that did write okay if I held it a certain way actually did fairly decent there but it's just so so stinking weird uh, but I did like the, the Thornton's blue that I used in this. Uh, in this one, the blue-black, uh, it's almost grayish, uh, like a dark gray rather than a, a blue or a black. But it's got a bluish tint to it. So, anyway, you know, I'm comparing the two. Uh, this one actually has more of a gap here than this one does. But this one still doesn't come as deep down as I thought it would. But you can see the difference in the trim, you know, the silver trim here. Wherever here is written um, sideways, so it's like that. Wherever is written horizontally here. So I haven't done any real research into the two pens yet uh, to, to really compare. You can see that this one is a clip that's into the cap. This one, the top actually unscrews and that clip comes off. And I was able to pull that off and polish just the clip rather than trying to do it uh, in place. But I'll compare just another, my other wherever. So you can see the sections are fairly similar. Their height, this one here, the green one, is just a little longer. This one's got the silver nib to it. That one's got the gold tone nib to it. So anyway, you know, uh, I cannot complain so far about this pen whatsoever pleasantly surprised uh, you know after getting the turkeys that I got the last time getting this and getting it up and running and working was a pleasant surprise so I'm very glad that I got this so for eight dollars total I got a very nice smooth writing uh, good looking blue and gold tone wherever vintage fountain pen so you know, you win some, you lose some on eBay, and that was actually, I think, a win. It, I got something better than I had actually anticipated uh, getting. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, so today, a win. 
Yay, an old wherever vintage fountain pen. Thanks.